CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 91 through 95 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 91. A network administrator is reviewing reports from a system that logs user activity, including session start and end times, commands entered, and resource usage. Which security concept does this best represent? The answer is B. Accounting. Accounting involves tracking user activity within a system, such as login and logout times, resource usage, and actions taken. It's a critical component of the AAA framework and is used for auditing, performance analysis, and compliance reporting. While related terms like auditing and access control might seem similar, accounting specifically focuses on recording user behavior over time rather than access permissions or security event reviews. Question 92. A security administrator has been tasked with ensuring that data retention standards are correctly implemented on an enterprise application. Which of the following data roles is the administrator most likely fulfilling? The answer is C. Custodian. A data custodian is responsible for implementing and maintaining the technical controls and operational procedures defined by data governance policies. This includes applying data retention standards, managing secure storage, and enforcing access permissions. While the data owner defines how long data should be retained, the custodian ensures that these policies are carried out within systems and applications. Question 93. Which of the following would restrict access to potentially harmful websites? The answer is B. DNS filtering. DNS filtering works by blocking the resolution of domain names associated with known malicious or unwanted websites. When a user attempts to visit such a site, the DNS request is intercepted and denied or redirected. This helps prevent access to phishing pages, malware-laden sites, and other harmful destinations. Question 94. A company processes and stores sensitive data on its own systems. Which of the following steps should the company take first to ensure employee compliance with privacy regulations? The answer is D. Provide data protection training. To ensure employees comply with privacy regulations, the first step is to develop and deliver training on data protection policies. Employees must understand how to handle sensitive data, recognize privacy risks, and follow regulatory requirements. Without this foundational knowledge, even the best technical safeguards can be undermined by human error or negligence. Question 95. A network administrator wants to ensure that network traffic is highly secure while in transit. Which of the following best describes the actions the network administrator should take? The answer is A. Use TLS and allow only secure communication protocols. To secure network traffic while in transit, the best approach is to use encryption protocols such as TLS. This ensures data is unreadable to anyone intercepting it during transmission. By only allowing secure protocols and restricting unencrypted traffic, the administrator can protect sensitive information from eavesdropping and man-in-the-middle attacks. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.